a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Friday, April 12th of 2019, and you're listening to episode 190 of the BCC Podcast. I'm Ford, and here with me today is LQ. I shouldn't be hungry, because I just had like a really big steak dinner, but you know, sometimes when you feel hungry, but your stomach is totally full. It's like when you're a snake, like you just eat stuff, but then like, you don't eat a lot, you just, just want to eat more. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I, well, I'm, I'm also I'm here with Malaris. Cheese right now, but. Oh yeah, I had macaroni and cheese with my steak. I... Great combo. Okay, so Lego recent. <laughs> Wait. I'm also here with Malaris. Well, hi. Uh, my lunch has not been ruined. In fact, neither has my dinner or dessert. I'm Can Mal eat about... lunch? Is he like allowed to have Wait, lunch? Wait, Mal eats. <laughs> I'm just thinking about my next meal and. Who it all be? Okay, what? cool. <laughs> I'm also here with Leo. We live in a society. Great. I'm also here with Orion. Uh, hey, everyone. Um, Has Leo ever me. said anything original for his intro? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> nope. So. Today is the first day of Star Wars celebration, or yesterday Yay! was. <laughs> We're not going to talk so about excited. that because it was a disappointment. I think we can unanimously say that. Well, the best, we, I think we can unanimously say that the best part was Stephen Colbert. I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut Look, your the only face. entertaining part of that conference was Billy D. Williams. Yeah. I, f- I feel I'm really afraid that he's going to die like at any moment. Well, of course well, he how is. How old is he? <laughs> He's like 83? Yeah, then he's going to die at any moment. Well, they're they're going to run him through with the Millennium Falcon model before he I dies. I mean, he sounds great for his age. Oh, will they but... bury him in a model of the Millennium Falcon? He's like, <laughs> I still got it, hand! There's nothing you can do. <laughs> yeah, he's... Actually, yeah, he just turned 82 uh, like six days ago. There was a... There was this interview or something what, really What, his recently. middle name is that... D stands for December? <laughs> no, there was this interview of, of Billy D. Williams just very, very recently, and they were talking about how he, or I think it was maybe it was at the celebration. I don't know, but they were saying how he like get, gets the how he betrayed Han at, uh, in Empire Strikes Back, and the way he responds to it, it sounds like he thinks he actually is Lando. Oh yeah, he addressed that today. He said, he, he said when he, people say that, he starts thinking that he actually is Lando and has to defend no. himself. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> the way he words it is like, he was are you sure at you're gunpoint, like, guys? Are, are we sure that Billy D. Williams doesn't actually think he's Lando? Or like, what has know. he been doing the past decade? Like, he just he's been is roaming he around looking for the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> he, he appears on Harrison Ford's property one day and says, "You stole my ship." <laughs> I want to know, like, I want to know what happens behind the scenes with him and Harrison Ford. They're like these two decrepit old men, just like fighting over this fictional spaceship. Hey, hey, do you remember when Harrison Ford crashed that airplane? Oh, yeah. do you think he tried Billy to? D. Williams I bet airplane? he tried to crash it into Billy D. Williams' house. <laughs> well, he stole it from Billy D. Williams first. <laughs> This one's for the carbonite land. <laughs> George Lucas comes This is for like, taking I'm off the radar like, dish. Like some mid tier oh, no. film about two no, the... old actors who can't forget no, yeah, about their roles and they get old. That would be like the, the Tolkien biography kind of they like years from now they'll make a biography about Harrison Ford and Billy D. Williams and it's like a comedy and it's like a road trip movie where they both delusionally think that they're uh Han Solo and uh, Lando. Did, did they kidnap P- Peter Mayhew and then bring them along? And then George Lucas voices as God or something. <laughs> I don't know. At this rate, George Lucas probably isn't gonna be around long enough. I don't know. He looks so sad. <laughs> well, I mean, look at what's become of his franchise. Oh, I sorry. Shut I'm up, Ford. No. He looks way less sad than before he sold it. He was doing really bad before he sold Why it. Why is he well, so depressed, though? Like, I, I think he always acts like that. I think he's always actually, been actually, depressed. 
Dang, I think is after Star his Wars wife just... divorced him at episode oh, six, it's yeah. just been downhill since then. Wait, yeah. why like... would his wife divorce him after concluding one of the most successful trilogies? So of all she could actually it was, it was during it. episode six. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh well, f- what? A- Maybe he got to like the the Ewok part, and she was like, "No, nah, George." Just <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe yeah, George he... Lucas was just channeling his depression into Star Wars this whole time. He hasn't married again, has he? No, yeah, he has. He has. Yes, he, he has. has. Oh, he, he, has. Ha- <laughs> he has. He has. He has. We had a huge discussion about this a while ago. We can't get into right now. We'll open Wait, can I say like, oh, what yes, the sound no, no, of that is? We, we can't. I this we now. can't yes. talk about it. I can't. Ah, oh, dang it. It's so I, I, funny, I do remember though. this now. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with a little bit of news, and then we're going to go into our own topic, which is... Star Wars sets after this is also the 20th anniversary of Lego Star Wars Woo! Mm-hmm. that have never been made despite being prominent in the movies. We're gonna have to think of a better title than that. It's too late. We're recording now. Star Wars sets we want. Well, no, what do you, I meant, like, what do you recommend? No, I mean for the YouTube video, it's like Star Wars sets we wish had. I don't, uh, Graham, do these I don't know. do these non-existent Lego Star Wars sets make us hate Bionicle? Uh, Star Wars <laughs> set shenanigans. No. <laughs> no, yeah, we're not no, using I shenanigans. <laughs> What's wrong no, with shenanigans, LQ? Well, Billy D. Williams shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Apparently, well, she didn't, uh, George Lucas didn't just get divorced. At that same time, his wife gave up filmmaking and left Hollywood. Oh wait, hmm. she was okay, in the then. filmmaking. Yo, she yeah, she, she, that she was she, like the main editor she, for episode she, four. Uh, yeah, she mm-hmm. edited yeah. most of his movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, then it was definitely the Ewoks that broke them. <laughs> it was like, our, I don't want this in the film, George. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the first piece of news today, uh, Lego has announced another redo of a set. The Tantive 4. I think that's how you pronounce Woo! it. Technically, it it's Tantive V4, Organa. but Tantive 4 sounds way better. V4? Tantive V4. Yeah, it, it's stupid. <laughs> Like also, I, I I never I never realized this, but if you look at that the the box like the, the picture on it, if you look at it the right way, it looks like an arm like with a hand. Yeah, you've only just noticed I think that. That was the uh, the idea. <laughs> yeah, really? Oh, Leo, we're gonna get copyrighted or something. Yeah, How can we get like, money from this. It's one of my favorite tracks. No, I never noticed. It well, is good. Wait. It is good. Are you sure that's the design? Because like I've never ever thought that it looked like a hand until I saw the Lego set. Well, it's supposed to punch through blockades. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. no, but it's, it's not. It's not runner. punching through the fist like the actual. Yeah, because they couldn't hands. get it to work like that. So they just were like, "Ah, screw it. Let's have the fingers be jets or something." I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was the plan. Well, <laughs> again, the Millennium Falcon was conceived when George Lucas ate a bite out of a hamburger and sat it down next to an olive and was like, "Heck yeah!" Was that? What, is that true? I don't yes. think yeah, so. No, no, no. It, it it is true. It is like I don't know the specifics, but I remember I remember seeing that. George Lucas had like seen this hamburger with a bite taken out of it, and there was like some scraps of food nearby, like an all, like a you know, couple olives or something. And he thought that would make an interesting shape for a ship. This sounds like the origin of the shredder, almost. The who? What was that? What is the, the origin you know, the, for the, the shredder, shredder from TMNT. Yes, yeah, so, oh. like uh, Peter Laird put a, put one of those cheese shredders, cheese graters on his hand, and just held it up. <laughs> and that's how the idea was born. <laughs> Ooh, I'm the shredder. Okay uh, then. So, um, gonna get your cheese. This is a set. It'll be two hundred dollars. <laughs> it is a set, but it's a nice set. And I it'll like be that. only have seventeen hundred pieces though. I like hundred sixty-eight. I still like this set. It's not. It doesn't. You all remember the one from two thousand nine? The version no. that just came out. No. Wait. If, if you get this picture. set and then a few clone troopers, you can be like. I'm sorry, sir. It's time for it's you time to leave. Time for you to leave. <laughs> Get off of my plane. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my family? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm trying to find the picture of the last one. Okay, the last one, honestly, I can hardly tell the difference. I, I think the interior is a bit larger. In the Here's last the last one. one. 
It doesn't look big enough to be worth two hundred dollars. It no. is under uh, the price but, normal price pre Yeah, it actually looks bigger, smaller. So. Like it yeah, looks but, like it's slimmed well, down. It looks slimmer, which I, I think is a bit more accurate. Mal, if you can con concur with this, opinion. what's uh, the slimness? How yeah, much did you say this was again? Um, two hundred. Two hundred. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, wow. I... all the Google images start out with Lego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they That's do. Sad. <laughs> Okay, uh, let, let's get Yeah, the older angle. one, I think the boosters look a bit better on the newer one, but for the most part, I can't notice many differences between them. Yeah, the it's just yeah. Like version took... actually looks uh, more accurate yeah, to the movie. It looks like they okay. just took it, like, squashed it down the middle, um, and then added bail or gone. Yeah, the last one even had the, an escape pod, which... Yeah, here, here's my biggest gripe, though. They had the perfect opportunity to add Rebel Friend... But they uh, <laughs> what? A rebel friend rebel from Lego friend. Star is a video game. Oh, oh, mm. oh, okay. I haven't actually played Lego Star. What? <laughs> Heretic! <laughs> you blasphemer! So, yeah, that's about it. This is a set. But one thing, which you guys it said is this set. is not new, but it's the first time I've noticed it, is they have the Star Wars blasters in silver in this set. Um, They started that yeah. like... What like Captain Phasma had? Two? Yeah, Captain Phasma, I think, is where they started yeah. that. That's weird because the, though technically, I don't think in the movie these weren't silver; they were black. The black was accurate. Not that I'm complaining because it's um, cool to get new pieces. I mean, yeah, they're, I they're thought they would just do. I, I thought they used to do um like the black, and then they had uh, like a little you know the one of those pins with the studs one on. One of it. the gray pins. Yeah. Yeah, one of the gray pins with the studs on it. They yeah. would just put that on the front and bam, mm. new blaster. Also, um, <laughs> this is a new Leia with the mini dress piece. But she has legs. So. Yeah, she also has legs. I didn't know Leia had legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not something good we tell you. A gun, so. Okay, they still haven't fixed a C3PO minifigure, which is a really good Yeah, me. like, give it a silver leg already. Come on. Especially for a $200 set. Come on. Yeah, look. Like, like if you're gonna fix it and you're gonna make it like a high end thing, yeah, I know. Yeah, like if you're gonna make it into a high end set, looks? fix the leg, <laughs> fix it. Mm, yes. Might let me take a look Hot at stuff. this. Oh, that's it's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Why but is it like that? Captain America's because they haven't updated him in years. Actually, yeah. Now that you look at it, he really he looks really vintage or something. Yes. Yeah, you know how Lego can do dual, dual molding in the legs? They could easily mold the bottom part of his leg in silver. Yeah. Yep, they could. Al also, it's like his head could really be just completely streamlined or whatever. It just well, it's so... Isn't that the I'm same head mold the they've had forever? Yeah, it's the same one they've had forever since 1999. Yeah, it is the it's same perfect. one they've had forever. I'm fine it's with the It's absolutely perfect. I think the yeah. chest printing is also update. He should have arm and side leg printing. There is no excuse for not doing that these days. You should also have toe printing because we have gotten a C three PO with more printing with the uh, oh, yeah. Force Awakens. Like C3PO. as much as I don't like the Force Awakens, the Force Awakens C three PO minifigure is like got to be one of my favorites. All right, guys. So welcome back to my video, and today we're gonna be talking about why why the why the Lego company is it has a conspiracy to just en enslave everyone by not putting the the prints on C three PO's arms and legs. Like Lego is a totally belligerent capitalist uh, uh, economy run. Uh, sorry, <coughs> cough. I lime your 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 digressing. Just get out of here. No, no. You can't I'm digress. Das Kapital too. But see, the newer one looks better. They could still do even better than this, I think, because I don't like how the printing looks on the bottom of his legs, but it's at least more crisp. Mm -hmm. It looks too dark, printing. the the gold. They they wait, they printed his knee joint on the side of his leg. Yes, yeah. they did. Ouch! What? That's weird. It's because there's nothing actually on the side of his legs in the movie that's easy to put there. So <laughs> just put like a YOLO. We know his knee joint is on the side of the leg. I, I know, it's weird. Why is it weird? Because it's perfect. Many figures don't have knees. They do in the it's, Lego it's games. It's like, um, it's like, you know, I didn't actually realize that Lego girl minifigures were supposed to have curves. I just thought that 
they were super blocky looking, but then there's like art of artificial space inserted in little <laughs> triangles on the curves. Hey, you know, I if just you look closely, looks... C3PO kind of has that too. Yeah, um, but, <laughs> but but it's but it's like I think that makes no sense because it's like you're putting the background of a wall well, onto your mini so, figure. Well, to Orion, think about space. this way: that that simulation of space is what helps them jump higher. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I think I think true. we all learned something about Orion. Uh, we all we all learned about how he likes his girls. No. Moving on. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just I like my girls like I like C three PO. <laughs> Dang! I don't have a I don't have with a red arms. Line to that. <laughs> red arms and blocky. You can't yeah. recognize like, them because of the red uh, arm. Co- I like my women like I like C three PO. Couple hundred years old and fluent in over six million forms. <laughs> <laughs> Fluent in over six million forms of sandwich making. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to the more exciting part of this discussion. We've talked about wanting to talk about this for a long oh, time. Boy. And there's nothing else to talk about, so we decided to do it now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So, throughout the years, people have been complaining about LEGO Star Wars re-releasing the same sets over and over. And they're right. And over. Yeah. Because <laughs> at this point, uh, the re-releases aren't getting any better. They're just different, really. I've been saying this for one month now. <laughs> yes, Orion. Right. That's, that's why we have to be acknowledging because it's not a new opinion. <laughs> so right. we're going to give you a kind of a list of what you would like to see in the future. Yes. Um, expect a lot of episode two stuff on here because that has hardly any sense. Oh, no. Yes. Come on, guys. What about all those really creative designs from the sequel movies? I actually Shh. thought tried to think of anything in the sequel movies. <laughs> There's nothing in there I want to see. <laughs> there is. A... I think they've covered no. Except well, maybe well, the cave. Looking from at the last it objectively, Jedi. I I really do feel like they've covered it pretty well. They even covered no, some things that weren't in the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they cover no, concept did art. Did they make man? A, uh, a set of like the Jedi tree or whatever? Because I feel like that could be. Oh, that would actually be cool. a cool set. And they could yeah, have the Jedi tree and then the cave and explodes. Yes. Yeah, well, no. I mean, I would just do that without the fun. And a trans blue ghost Yoda. Actually, that'd yes, be really because cool because they could do that now. Well, uh, yeah, that would be really cool. Like, and then you have like a little slot with like the books on it and stuff. And you, you can get have some, like, uh, cool. You printing. can have Luke with his mm-hmm. the sacred text face. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. that'd be a really good set from uh, the sequel trilogy. Right, so I would, one. I would approve well, that. Jedi tree. This is me talking here. All right. I would approve of that. Uh, we don't care for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you, you have to go a little bit longer before you probably break the is, glass If ceiling. I could find any, I'd probably be able to find more in The Last Jedi than The Force Awakens. <laughs> well, and the funny part is that The Force Awakens is like the better shot movie. <laughs> All right. So um, is there anyone in particular who wants to go first? Because none of you sent me your pictures Ooh, still. I sent me. you your pictures. Oh, I sent the pictures. I emailed them to you. No, we, email have, isn't. I was meant on Discord. Email is just as much as the drive to get through. What I, oh, what, you want them on it's there? It's a set that already exists, but I would actually really like to get a new version of uh, what's Anakin's ship in the Clone Wars, the Twilight or something. Oh, the Twilight. Yeah. Oh yes. yeah. Yeah, I'd like to get uh, another version of that. I just thought like the design is super yeah, cool and but interesting. But the old set kind of sucked. Why is the zip not? Going yeah, on? no. I I remember wanting that set so badly when I was smaller, but now I like I want it, but I I want a good set. The thing that kind of throws me off the most with the old Twilight is that there's no visor. <laughs> it's just yeah. open to space. I... <laughs> they just, like, shove R2-D2 in, in the front there so that way no radiation or anything gets through. <laughs> yeah. But, but I think but they yeah, could do a I'd better like, version. I'd like, like, a bigger version you know, and like more, you know, more complex. That like, if you're gonna redo a ton of Star Wars sets, at least do the ones that need to be redone. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. that would be one unlike of the, the better land speeder, ones. which has done, been done perfectly fine at least four times now. Ooh, yeah. Ooh four. Dead. That's a good. That, yes. So I want. Okay, that I want well. the Queen's J type Nubian oh, from Episode God. One. Now yes. that is a ship. Yes, that is a ship. That and is here's the ship. thing: to get the you can do it. You can do it in silver Lego. You can. 
You just started re- uh, releasing some new sterling silver elements. So Wait, what I don't want to hear that you can't lately? do silver. Yeah, Lego, listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I want this to be in scale, all right? It's got to be perfect first try, okay? <laughs> it's got to have, like, all it's gotta the, be life the, the really size. important stuff. It's got to be have a lights and sounds, okay? Yeah. <laughs> or do you sound like Mark I can't, talking why to is the engineers? Not a picture of the ship not loading into OBS. It doesn't like this picture for some reason. Oh, that's a problem. Just get it. Get that gift. Just like Lego doesn't like this milk. ship. <laughs> <laughs> Just play that for the entire podcast, like we did last time. <laughs> what did, you, did you guys do this while I was gone? No, no. When we were talking about the last uh, show at one point, you you had forgotten oh, yeah, and changed you, the you picture, the... and it was just the picture of Luke drinking milk. From okay, the whole there we podcast. go. Now it's up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this needs to be a set. Move forward. What were the examples of sterling silver lately? Um, I know I got a Spider-Man set recently. One of the newer ones. I think sterling it, silver. Chrono. I think it came with um, it came with Carnage and all them. It was the big cycle thing that sucked, but. There was this, like, factory piece, and there were those little, like, sloped curve um, grill elements. You know, like, the one by 2 triangular-looking ones? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they're in, like, this shiny silver. Not, like, the normal, like, silver. Not the normal flat silver. silver. But, like, not, like, the normal flat silver, but, like, a shiny silver. Huh. Like, from, like, the Agents days. Like, the 2008 Agents. That's silver. That's weird. I have not seen them using... The last shiny element I can remember was the one ring from Lord of the Rings. Like, the best th- way I could describe it, it looks like aluminum foil. Yeah, I know what you're Which is exactly about. what this was. I have some so. of those from the old days, but... Yeah. I'd say, Every like, day. do that, and you got it. <laughs> I, I have some of those from in flat before silver, the dark times. <laughs> before the dark times. <laughs> you know, we have a lot of accent pieces silver. in flat silver, but we don't have a lot of actual bricks in that are molded in flat silver. Yeah, and this set would give us some, so, yeah. It'd also be inordinately expensive, I imagine. They I don't do care. They could do this for $200, I would get like the last one we just saw. They could easily fit it in that <laughs> ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Ryan just posted a picture of Star right. Wars, the Emperor's I love new democracy. Groove. I love the Republic. <laughs> If 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 the emperor like actually does like a, a dance segment in this new movie, I'll, I'll probably like it. <laughs> Dab on those haters. It's fun new to be Star Wars the movies are too today. serious for something like that, though. Except also, well, not no, serious but the enough. thing is that like, despite being so serious, they have like all that horrible MCU humor. Who goes first? You you go first, or I go first? It's like I oh, still curse, like that part. Not to mention curse you, John Favreau. Why? <laughs> You can't curse John Favreau. He it's John chef. Favreau's fault that that everyone is doing this in movies. Ah, uh, he is a blessing and a curse. If he Let's hadn't have made Swingers back in 1996, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> <laughs> what well, then? We'd still have. What if we'd still have like early 2000s blockbusters? Then, which are even worse. I ah oh, dang it. Yeah. Well, ev- well, they were just cop. <laughs> that was the Matrix's fault. To be I honest, I know, but we'd still be there. At back who then. else? Who else would like to? Uh, Reveal their next on the list. Uh, I, I oh, I <laughs> Leo, that's not revealing. <laughs> I, I can go. All right, Mal, you go. Uh, it's. I like to call this. Well, what do you know? Hey, oh, that's that on my list. Well. Oh, what do you I actually know? forgot about this one, but it is one. Like you could <laughs> totally see how that could go in Lego. Yes, it could. It would uh, work perfectly. My first reaction when I saw that picture though was like, "Is that like part of a sewage pipe or something?" <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> it's a fifties diner. So this it, is it's like a fifties diner that's been around for a thousand. <laughs> it probably has. This that is would also be like a really good for set. Lego Star Wars too. Yeah, you no, know what they, it was just they the hub need? World. They, need, like, they need like printing oh. on pieces that look grimy. Like they need like grimy pieces. I don't They've know if they that. make that. Usually it's stickers though. Uh, because like if they actually printed it like for this, like if they made like grimy bricks or whatever, that would be really cool. You know, they also I need just to finally make a deck minifigure. Yes. <laughs> have they not? No, no they no. haven't. You see, like, Mel, what? there's there's something wrong with We've this. We've gotten uh, okay? one person of his species before. Um, yeah, Poncrell. Krell from the Clone Wars, yeah. but we've never gotten Dex. So like, they've <laughs> totally proven the concept that his species can go in Lego form, but we have oh, not gotten Dex himself. Wait, 
could Dex be in the Mandalorian? He does. Yeah. <laughs> no, he could. I feel, like, I feel like that would fit really well. Get John Favreau's. Uh, the Dex. issue is, it sounds like they're, <laughs> John they're staying completely Dex. out of rim, and they're not going to go to Coruscant. <laughs> no, again. no. Well, I, what do you know? I want to go to Coruscant. I do. Don't go to Coruscant. Like the next, the next Star Wars media that includes Coruscant will instantly be my favorite. Oh man, oh, I'm salivating. Coruscant needs <laughs> more love. But yes, Dexter Diner. Hey, speaking Good. of Coruscant, I want some of the Coruscant speeders from Coruscant. Clone Wars in Episode 2. Um, I think this one would go very well mm. with uh, the diner. I forgot. I honestly don't remember these at all. <laughs> you know me, Master. I always have a hard time picking a speeder. That looks like yeah. the head of an axe. That's the point. D- when they, wait, well, no, when wait, they Ford, just... that did show up in a set. It was with Cad Bane, I think. Oh, you're, you're right. Wait, it did. When, was it in the set? You, I... Is there like a pattern here? Whenever they design like ship that's not the Star same Wars, one. They just like Google random images. Yeah, that actually like, is right. how they do it. Oh my, this is they why usually it's based genius. on random objects. Yeah, this see, one's based see, on. That's why the sequels aren't working so well. They're too professional. They need to get some hamburgers and axe heads <laughs> and just like some cheese graters and then just go to. <laughs> they town. also need sewer pipes, apparently. Yes, <laughs> lots of those. But this one was in the Clone Wars. Uh, it's based on an episode three design, which did appear in a set, but this one hasn't. But I figured, like, have a full size one, put it with the diner, golden. Either that diner or like just some random speeder. Like I've got a few pictures here. Let's see. Yeah, I can't find this in a set, like they were saying. I'm positive I've seen it before. Like I'll just I'll, I'll just throw up a few. I just can't remember what year. Because this would have been the set that Ooh, it was in. A... in. Ah, and is then that here's it? a police speeder. Yeah, that's that a, something else. That doesn't look the same. No, it's, it's not. Definitely that's not. not at all the same ship. <laughs> that's I'm more like... Um, I'm positive I'm thinking of something else. That's more like the speeder that picks up the senators. I yeah, that's that's because that. that's what it is. In yeah. the episode, that's what it is. Yeah. But that's not yeah, the I, same one you posted from the Clone Wars. It would be cool to see like a... Yeah, a the one set, I posted like was a, a turbo speeder from that's for the Jedi. That's what? like... Well, that's like set, or like like around the area where uh, Anakin and Obi Wan are chasing down the person who tried to assassinate. There is Anakin. one, because like it, it'd be cool if they had like a wave or like one box set with like different uh, speeders and like mm-hmm. just like cruisers or ca- basically flying cars. You yeah. know, well, well like a our package. proposition so far is have Dex's diner and then like maybe one or two speeders to go along with it. Yeah, or something. Because, because if I remember correctly, a lot of those speeders are like super colorful looking, like bright oranges. Oh, yeah. And like dark red. I would and, not and be against including like this one police speeder I posted. Ah. Uh-huh. The bottom one. Uh, the one just before the set. Yeah. Yeah, like I would not be against that. Like, why does everyone in the Star Wars police? universe think they're too good to be like soldiers or police officers? And they always I have mean, just what... droids or clones do it. Well, aren't droids supposed to be cheaper or something? Yeah. Yeah, they are cheaper. But I don't well, think exactly. a droid, police droids have ever successfully arrested anyone. <laughs> well, just because they're cheaper, that doesn't mean they're more also, effective. Also, I, I really... is this, I, don't, I, I don't take this too seriously, but the droids in the prequels, it's like, why are they so stupid? That's the point. Well, no, they actually... He deliberately the books, they actually made them stupid. That. Yeah, they make them stupid so they won't rebel. Yeah. Wait, if yeah, and George Lucas deliberately made rebel? them stupid so that yeah, that's why, okay, that's why, like, all they the can battle logically droids... evolve into the stormtrooper. That's why, like, in episode one, all the battle droids had to uh, the central computer unit. They wanted them to have a central point of failure, so that way, if they turned on them, they could just shut them all down. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah, well, because wait, if it, it, it literally says, sounds... like, strategic droids, and if they're too smart, they'll either abandon their leaders or just kill them. Yes. <laughs> like, wait, that wait, happens. Why? Or... Because, because they the have too much intelligence. Are cowardly. So. Remember that Wait, one drone if they're, if they're soul, they too smart, to do they, If they're too smart, do they just realize that the um, that the people they're fighting well, for? Well, here's here's a here's a perfect line from episode two to to help you with this. I hate Sam. Well, if droids could think, there'd be none of us here, would there? <laughs> You're right, Dex. Quite. Exactly. I like my women like I like my droids, unable to think and slaves. <laughs> 
with the, with the central point of failure. No, there are some droids they make that are, are more intelligent. Like, but then usually they do end up turning, like they turn into bounty hunters. Like you know, like Forlom, not Forlom. Ig88. 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 Ig88 is like one IGA. that went. Well, you know, Forlom is also totally, a droid. He, he also yeah, came Was Forlom a totally droid? Yeah, he's a, pro yeah. he's a protocol droid for Zuckus's species. Yep. Okay. I think. But yeah, like those type of droids, they eventually do just go rogue. Um, they're called the Gand, Leon. Yeah, I that don't was a totally care. intentional thing. It wasn't just played up for humor. They made them stupid oh, yeah, on yeah. purpose. Yes. What about Jar Jar, though? What about that ruse? He's a Sith Lord. They made him stupid on purpose. Well, so I mean, if we Sith can make Lord. him work. He was the Sith Lord. I don't... I don't about that we sure it wasn't him laughing i don't know <laughs> wouldn't that make that would make episode nine literally the best movie ever then yes <laughs> are we sure Jar -Jar. are we sure yes okay oh, by the way that that uh that, i don't know if you guys know but like the uh, the thing they're looking at that is the actual death star 2 ruins that okay that makes sense please no Does that mean i was gonna say i hate, I, I hate how sense. um sorry to go off on tangent here i i don't like how it's it's only been thirty years that everyone acts like it's ancient past stuff. Like, yeah. Well, like thirty yeah, years Ryan. from now, I mean, people will still be making jokes about nine eleven. But Ryan, it's what still do, you, very... do you think of the Berlin Wall as something ancient in the past? Not really. No. Well, most of our generation has no idea what went on in the eighties for real. Well, then watch well, a no, movie well, and find out. Come on. Well, no, but, watch but, Conan but the, the Barbarian thing, and but the find thing is out. That, watch like, Back to the Future, the, man. The Berlin Wall is one thing, but like the fate of the galaxy and like all these heroes and stuff, that's an entirely different thing. Like people would still be talking about it. Like a the lot. The establishment of an entire governmental body. Yeah, well, they'd we still be here? recovering from that, basically. Now um, you're understanding why I don't like the sequel trilogy. But let's move on uh, before this but, turns but, into a rant. Well, no, I want I want to add add this though. It's like they they justify this because to the fans, it's been an eternity before the new st these Star Wars movies came out. So to the fans, it feels longer than it actually it hasn't has been. been. An eternity. Yeah. So like to the star like. In actuality, it's only been 30 years, but to the fans, it's been, like, 200 years, and that's the way it's treated years. in the movies. Like, it's been 200 years, but no, it's, you know, it anyway. It was, it was it was only 10 years. There's no time. anymore. A 200-year sequel would have been better. Yes. Or, that's yeah, why I yeah. like Legacy. Or, like, <laughs> brand new Star Wars would have been better. <laughs> yes. All right, well, let's move on. Let's do one of mine. I want to right. set up okay. the Camino cloning facility. Ah, yes, Ooh. a good Wait, choice. Wait, they haven't done that? No, I've never no. done any Camino sets whatsoever. That's a great Why? choice. I don't know. I'm trying to get the picture have up. They, have again, they ever done, like, the Camino alien people? No. Nope. No, they There's haven't. There's never either. been any set based on Camino. That's so Maybe dumb. Slave 1. Maybe? But no. No, Slave no that's it, that's a, that was more based in the Geonosis part. Because mm -hmm. they had the Obi-Wan counter ship, counterpart ship, didn't they? Yeah, yeah that, that Obi Wan also Obi -Wan landed on Camino with that uh, ship. Mwah, that whole sequence. Just a, a run up this. We need a new <laughs> Jango Fett Slave One, by the way. Yes, yes we do that too. Yeah, yeah it must they, come with Boba. Yep, Camino is such a cool designed planet, and we've never gotten any Lego sets based off of it. Wait, they, oh, you mean the so, architecture is well designed, not the planet? The planet is so, all like rain. <laughs> No, no, wait, Ford. But but here, you remember that one scene where the this whale thing flies out of the water? And oh yeah, yeah. Like, like this. We need a set of that. Yes, <laughs> I, I'm on you with that now. Didn't they already make Lego fish or something? Forma, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, guys, remember Forma? <laughs> yeah, it has, that out, is yeah, ancient it has history. It. Wow. I yeah, I that them. That they was them? like uh, okay. thirty years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> In internet years, yeah. yes. Every generation has a legend. The oh, internet does form, act uh, like, you brother. know, like a year or two is way longer than it has been. It's not. It just yeah, on the internet, so... a year is like forever. Everyone's just a friggin' crybaby, honestly. Like, I mean, I'm a crybaby too. Now if I use a too, meme but... that was relevant last year, everyone will be like, oh, that meme is totally relevant now. Uh, yeah. Like, for one, I you, you do, there's not a time limit on a joke. No. <laughs> Uh, it Despite can be overplayed, though, to night. where it, like, if you tell a joke so much that it isn't funny anymore, but I you know? think, oh, more so when a meme is dead, that's when it's funniest to me. Well, yeah, well, well then you can also use it in, like, the, the kind of cringy way, too. Like, ha, ha let epic Uganda knuckle, knuckles Fortnite. 
Haha, <laughs> the troll face. Remember that? That's funny. Mm-hmm. Rage comics. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so keeping in with the uh, clone theme, can I post my one of mine? Okay. Sure, go ahead. All right. So this one is the RX two hundred big gun. Ooh. No, is it the, the spat? That's good. Or, I remember uh, this mostly from wait, Lego Star no. Wars 3, honestly, because you had to use it to take down the golden yeah. structures. Leo, I'm That's so good. sorry. That looks so ugly. <laughs> this is a bad render of it. <laughs> it is. It, no, I, I couldn't it, find it, a better one. It like, looks a, like a block of cheese view. that got, like, crudely sculptured. How do you think something? George Lucas made it? <laughs> no! <laughs> George Lucas is just, like, cutting off pieces of, like, this mozzarella cheese block and eating <laughs> it. At that point, like, couldn't he just be doing the same with Clay? Yeah, he, like, expertly carved it out from a <laughs> no, from a it has to cheese. be food. It's not Clay. George, no. It must be food. Wait, wait. You know those, like... I can't wait until George Lucas has Asian fusion for the first time. You know those, like, butter spreads in the shape of, like, sheep? What if you had what? a thing of butter in the shape of this? I'm dying to hear that. Your butter in the shape of sheep? What is going on? No. Wait, you don't know about like, that? He like piles on a plate of mashed potatoes, creates that little crater with like the, <laughs> the butter in it. He's like, ah, it the means sarlacc. something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like having some of that pistachio ice Wait. cream, and he's like, ah, yes, Jabba the Hutt. Ah. <laughs> I just imagine him, like, grabbing, you know, a chicken leg, and he's like, gee, maybe I'm the rancor. <laughs> he's like he's like the master in that final episode of Doctor Who, just like eating all that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> So yeah, the weird thing about this one Leo posted though is it comes to mind whenever I think about it is I think of the Lego version from Lego Star Wars 3, yeah. which has the best yeah. PvP in any Lego yeah. game. In, in any game. Uh, in any really. game. It Unparalleled. is really fun, actually. I need to get that game for this computer. I mean, I've never played it, so... Now, an LP of it to, to follow along with the Clone Wars theme here, I, I want to add another one to the collection. This applies both to the 2003 Clone Wars as well as the Clone Wars 2008. Some of the pictures I found in the file um, you sent me worry me. This is a <laughs> this is a Genovex class like starfighter piloted by Asajj Ventress. Oh yes. Ooh. I always wanted it as a kid. Never got it because they never I'm made it. I'm trying to figure out what this looks like. Ah, a quesadilla. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yes. It is the quesadilla starfighter. No, no, it's a fan. That's exactly yeah, what it is. It's a solar fan. It's it's no. It's, it's like it's like one on of those fan. Japanese fans. Like yeah uh, yeah. yeah. That's it's exactly what it is. And then like. and then like the the jets are the lightsabers. Yeah. Or like, not exactly. the jets or the the pistols or are those jets? I'm confused. No, those are blasters. They're, yes, blasters. blasters. Okay, yeah. And the, those are, those are her lightsabers. Then okay. Do we have a better render of this? Um, why is it not shown up very it's well? It's just because of the aspect <laughs> ratio. It I like show the, up very I well. like. You can see in the background some guy just like freaking dying, uh, <laughs> just exploding in the that's back. That's no guy. That's a Jedi. The, the not poor great Jedi in the back. Jedi slime. You know, I have a render from the 2003. Nah, series. never mind. We're about to move on at this point. Yeah, but I don't know. I want to see it because it'll go very nicely with the the Let Azure the Angel. past die. No, kill it if you have to. <laughs> Until you have to bring back Lando. No. Eat it if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, the past we're all changed, doing son of wars <laughs> right now. Uh, let's give this thought. It. Uh, I want the clone barracks and some. Oh tour. yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> like I think like it would 99? also have like a fun. Yeah, come with us. You, you could have Almost. like a uh, like, just pop out a clone yeah. barracks with mm-hmm. little young well, things because you could clone. have like um. You wouldn't like have the entire building, but you could do is you could have like a uh, like a like chunk of, of the wall, mm-hmm. you know, like a square like box mm-hmm. kind of structure, and like the, you can take the top off and the inside. Guys, you, you, it's like a it's like a beehive. I got it. Kind of. It just clicked. Camino playset. You can have the cloning facility and the barracks, and then like some other. Yeah, stuff. let's just have a lot of different Camino. UCS sets. Caminos. Yes, you can make it like cloud. <laughs> make it like that Cloud City, Except only better. Camino, and better. 
Yeah, the Camino, Camino and the Clone Wars has such great designs too. Like I love these pod things, how they come out into beds. Mm-hmm. I want to make a bed like that and force it, children it looked, to sleep it, in actually, them. Actually, now I'm looking at it. It just looks like if you've ever gone to like a uh, a laundry mat. That's yeah, it does like. like. Oh no, that's what this one's based off of. <laughs> no, 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 no George Lucas is doing it. George, what have you done? Uh, George Lucas is going to like hotels. his local laundry mat to like wash his like you know uh, Hawaiian shirts and belt buckles or whatever. And <laughs> his belt. Wash his belt buckles. No, no, his yeah. belt. His, like, do you wash belts? I don't know. No, Anyways, no. he's there. I don't. He's he's there. He's just sitting there for a half hour, just staring at this not machine own a belt. going around. He takes a picture of it. I own a belt, artist. but I, I like. I've never. I never washed it, so I didn't know. You're not if supposed I was to doing wash belts or not. <laughs> I, like, what if you get a belt dirty? Do you? They like, fall apart. Well, you wipe you it off. You rub it. You, you don't put it, it in the washing machine. <laughs> That'll destroy it. I I like my clones. I like my clones like I like my women doing laundry. <laughs> Someone's going to uh, look back at this and take it way too seriously. So <laughs> Especially no. because it's a Star Wars episode. No, all my liberal follow followers on Twitter, please no. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, it actually just looks so much like a laundromat, though. Like, I can't unsee that now. It's like the clones are climbing into the dryer. <laughs> it's supposed to be based off of uh, Japanese hotels yeah. where they... Oh, don't love hotels. Give yeah, anyone yeah. privacy. You just no, yeah. slide you know, in, slide honestly, out. If they if there's a hotel like that and it's super cheap, I would totally go for it. Just like when it's traveling. super like futuristic and cool looking. Why is everything but futuristic no looking so machine. like impractical and <laughs> dumb? <laughs> this doesn't like seem impractical. Ocean? We should start storing no. our military like this. This uh this <laughs> picture though looks like a screen cap from the new Toy Story movie. Like it takes place in the laundry mat or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well let's move along. Then uh, I'll do one of my move picks. Along. All right, one that I don't think anyone else has picked here. Now I've got to find it through all of Leo's pictures. <laughs> <laughs> What's on Leo's folder that's bothering you so much? You can't Is imagine? It... <laughs> no, I can't. All There's right. too many possibilities. Here's what I want. The Jedi Council. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, I perfect. Wait, actually. what? How is this not a set? That's what I mean. Uh, and again, for some reason, I want my Jarl goes... Poof minifigure. What? Yes. That's only if you get episode <laughs> this one. This is why console. I drink a lot of Yaddle. Water Make Yaddle. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't need Yaddle. I'd rather have the episode two council. Actually, this is just the picture that I found. Oh. Step it, Balaba. What about but, the that deck? Just saying. What if we had an episode I, three council? I'm wondering, though, are there chairs were holographic? like. Custom cool. made for one yeah, of they them. are yeah, okay. like uh, like what if someone my, sits in my, Kit Fristo's chair or whatever? But my, my, it's, my boy, you know, Kit Fristo's no, he's chair. Not there. <laughs> the 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 tall Kit headed is in... uh, Ryan. Who's my, the, my who's boy the... Jarl Poof is a tall headed one. He has a snake body in his chair. No, no, no. Up, the so guy who looks like a, a dwarf wait. I thought that was Francis in a vice with the big beard and the the snake tail. Oh yeah, there's the big beard. Yeah, that's Francis. Who's the guy with the? I keep forgetting him. Who's who's that guy that's like on the left of Anakin? That's oh, Kiadi Mundi. Mundi? Ki Mundi. One of the most yeah. famous Jedi Council members of the all time. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? You know he has several Lego minifigures, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't. He was in he a battle pack. I was just wondering what would happen if someone sat in his chair, like if Yoda sat in his chair. Well then, <laughs> what, what do you what do you mean? What, 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 what would you do happen? if Yoda sat? What in What would chair? happen if Yoda sat in, in would it break like Kai Mundi's locks? chair? And he refused chairs? to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Orion, this is a very um, social thing. Basically, at the beginning of every Why class... Why does Mace or... Windu demand bigger armrests than everyone else? Because, because he's, he's Mace Windu. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you seen I guess like, I think that is the same chair. I think that's like the default council member chair, actually, because Keanu yeah. Mundi has the same... <laughs> It's also so he can do his Gallia. little hands thing. No, okay, I'm serious. What would happen if Yoda sat in Kai Mundi's chair and refused to get out of it when it was time for the council meeting? Again, this is like a very social thing. Basically, at the beginning of each period at college, everyone sits down. 
they refuse yeah. for the whole year to change up seats. Okay, it's no, just I like hate it when people change expect. the seats in the true. class. No, okay, they expect. no, but, you know, I guess you wouldn't like me as a classmate. So you know, I always find a seat next to the people I want to talk to during class. Why would and you And then talk all of a sudden, some class? woman will sit next to my seat, and then it totally throws off my evening at class. <laughs> hmm. Damn, all those women just sitting in seats. <laughs> no, well, I'm thinking of a very particular instance here where she kept doing it. This one woman refused to sit in the same seat every week like everyone else, and it just uh, threw everything so, um, off. So here's another okay, Jedi-based no, th- one. This situation that though, I thought of. What would happen? Like, Uh-oh. would there be a fight? Are you fight? Really taking would... this that seriously? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure out, like, what would happen if Yoda duel. decided he was just going to be a jerk? And just sit in this guy's seat and not get out of it. I well, think well, it is, on. Yoda. If the Jedi what, Council what? reached that point, I think we have a lot of problems. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what if it was April Fools or something? I don't know. Do they? <laughs> what happens uh, if Yoda in his LQ. old age finally gets seen? We didn't actually talk about this as a set yet, so I'm not sure how we can move on. Okay. Oh, it would make a cool set. Period. It would yes. make a cool set. It would be a lot of mini figures. This was is probably why they haven't. This was a Lego idea set at some point. Though, there would be yeah, Lego uh, ideas we... can't do that. It's against the rules. I know it can't, but it was oh, there they, at some they, point. Lego like, should just uh... make it so that they can no, stop no. making Could idea we get sets. A, an extra seat on the council for Anakin, but it has a sticker that not a print. It has a sticker that you put on the seat that says <laughs> "Not Master." Because <laughs> 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 you're. It's outrageous. You know, I, I it's unfair. So three, who do they kick off the council to give Anakin a seat? I'm pretty sure someone do died. They, wait, what happens if they need to add chairs to the room? Like, do they expand well, there's always the so, There's always so many members. And then there's like three rotating members and so many permanent members and so many long-term members. Uh, uh, yeah, like Yoda and Mace Windu, they're all long-term members. Um. <laughs> So, so like LQ and Mal, basically. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kiati, Mundy, and Plo Koon are also long term. Eve Koth was not. He was, was on. Uh, Is Sacy uh, a Eve rotating Koth. member? The Zabrak, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you guys. <laughs> well, Orion, he gets stabbed to death by Sheev Palpatine. In, in right. Oh. No, yeah, he was the first. Is that Eve Koth? I yeah, know, I yeah. Was he took the, uh, e- the horns. Eve Koth. Um, <laughs> that name. Sassy Tin also gets Sassy stabbed. Tin. In and Lego Mace Star Windu. Wars three, they give Eve Koth this obsession with getting coffee throughout his level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Leo, let's. What's your next okay, set? So, here's oh. a more force related one. Just the uh, the dark side cave. Huh. Yeah, that's okay. I disagree. Yeah. I, you know, Why? natural landscapes never make for good Lego sets. Well, for one, <laughs> Legos, Lego Lord of the Rings begs to but, differ. But here's okay, the thing: they already, they already, and no, Lego the Hobbit, Cretan, do Lord not, Ring. do not. But here's the thing: they already the made, they already made uh, Yoda's hut. So just yeah, connect it to this, Legoba, and they already made this but, version of Luke and Vader. But that's but the, the, the point: you can make this version of Luke cheaper by putting it in a cheaper set. The tree. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think this what? is a set we need. I want a UCS no. tree. What would we already agreed upon the, set the, even the, be? The, the the Jedi Temple tree. I think. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think this would... I disagree, Leo. Now, I've got two oh. more, so... Alright, post one. Let's move on. Okay, about 10 so... Left. These, they're kind of like some random pod racers that I would throw in oh, yes. for like you know, Ooh. to have more pod racers. I just One thought these were the most unique ones. One of these is pod racer. Um, I don't think I have no. Ben I don't think I have Ben Quagenaros' pod racer <laughs> on this, unfortunately. Now, I think this one, this green one, would be a remake, I think. Yes. That's Gus Gano's. Yeah, yeah they so made that one. Remake. Yeah, but, like, either way, we need a new one. And we need a new Gus Gano. That original one was that, Yes, that too. <laughs> um... Okay. However, uh, I'll let Mal go. Yes, please, because I have two very important uh, sets. Okay. They're probably one of them is probably going to be my I last have. one. No, I no, they. I can assure you, they are not. Okay. So, the first one is a central location <gasps> in no! Star Wars Holiday <laughs> Special. <Yes! laughs> I, this is breaking the rules, Kevin. How is it breaking the I rules? Like this is what they have on Kashyyyk. You said in the movies. This is a movie. It's in the movies. No, I said in canon. 
That is in no, canon. Dude. It's in episode isn't three. This, <laughs> is, isn't this in Revenge of the Sith? Yes. No, know, it's in, in the Revenge Star Wars Sith, Holiday Metal. Special. It's, it's also it's in Revenge of the Sith. From this Star is Ta- Chewbacca's home, though. Yes, it's, it's in Revenge of the crucial. Sith. Like, where do you think Yoda is the whole time special. when they try to 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 kill him and then they chop no, no, those, people's the, heads off? That wasn't his home. That was just a platform. He was on a platform that looked a lot like this. That's yeah, a house, not, Ford. This That's where your young Wookiee goes to put together his his holographic video to have a rock band play yes, for him. Yes, yes. Look, his it, look, here's how they look in episode three. Meat. They're very different. They're like the similar shape, but they well, use Well, then more just metals. make them. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's also, you know, this is Chewbacca's home. This is where he lives, and this is where his wife cooks. This is where this Han is where his Solo died. Father um, does things, and this is where... Lumpy, yes. uh, you know. All right, we're moving on to the Senate. Yes, nope. the Senate. Oh, oh that's my soon. last wait, one. Oh, wait, that's my last one. Just post you I'm a done. Picture of Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> Because we already, we already have, have Palpatine, duh. No, we. You know, throughout Lego Star Wars history, we've never gotten one of these. <laughs> we've never gotten one of these little Senate platforms ever. We need See, the Senate. We need a. We need. I, like, if uh, I had like a, got a one of those Senate platforms set. when I was younger, I would have started throwing like, it at people. Just, just like, like Sheev Palpatine yeah, in this yeah. duel with just Yoda. Just like my hero Sheev. <laughs> See what we that's need. Why they didn't, that's why they've never made it because they were afraid of lawsuits because kids would be tempted. To Lego throw them. never made this set because they were afraid of people like me. <laughs> Here's what they would do: they would make like maybe what three of these, and then the center uh, kind of mm. console thing, and then make a battle pack. With, yeah, with like one of them. Yoda and Palpatine. No, 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 <laughs> not with Yoda and Palpatine, but put Yoda and Palpatine in like the main set, and then in the battle pack, just put some random senators. <laughs> like the senator from ET's planet. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, they already have the mold for that. They do. This is true. Orion, what if you posted? <laughs> you posted some random picture of Johnny Depp. We're moving on. Why? Yeah, let's. let's Who still let's has another? I, I have another. You already posted one. Right, Kevin, go ahead. So. This is another crucial movie element. This is a Sandassi <laughs> Marauder Castle. Or right, Mal, you're telling me stop. Battle of Endor. Stop. Endor. I, I, I stop. forbade this stuff. That picture, it's too low res. I don't even know what that is. What is this? It, it looks the like Sandassi like Marauder like a, Castle. I thought it was like from a bootleg, you know, movie theater capture with three amigos at no. first. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was a 2003 screen cap of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> <laughs> it's the San Yasin Marauder Castle. This is where the Ewoks, Ewoks have to infiltrate on and rescue. <laughs> what? Uh, Mel, what even is this? Why would you post? This? Is this the only picture you could? By find? the way, that's yes. <laughs> You know, people are always saying like on Endor, but we've never actually seen Endor in Star Wars. We've only seen a moon of Endor. This is, yeah, oh, this is some wait a Endor. minute. Yeah. That's because right. Endor is a gas giant. Wait, what is on Endor? It's a gas giant like Jupiter or Saturn. Yeah, just like you, Leo. No, you. <laughs> Ryan doesn't know what that is. He dropped out of high school. He's not a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I got, got another that, one. I got a GED, okay? It, it might be hard to look at, but... Well, um, all right, tell me what is a gas giant, then? A gas giant is basically just a... a planet made out of nebulous materials because it's so like uh, dense and heated that no solid matter can exist so it's just kind of like liquid gases and stuff all compressed into a giant sphere there's some stuff okay, in there yeah. that's contradictory <laughs> no I don't, so, no. still anyway, it's a, fair, it, well, it's it's a pretty, pretty good layman it's a, gas it's a layman's description it's pretty it's, good it's a gigantic okay you have an idea of what it is we'll give you that now I know, I know gas giant is. I, I know LQ already played the winning card with the Senate. Giant? What is a but gas giant? I, I wanted to mention this. What? This is a screenshot. Is oh, the, the, the sand village people camp. Yes, the sand Oh, this people. was on my list too, but it was in the list of uh, things they'd never make. It, it called Anakin murders the sand people. <laughs> I want Anakin murders the children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Not Anakin just wait, the children. That was also but on my the list. Women, what women, would they call that? Then? And they the had to men call too. Squad, like the squad. Would they call this? No, they the said Suicide children? Squad in uh, the young in, like a Batman movie. They say Suicide Squad. Oh, the Lego Batman? No, I mean yeah. the set and the set, like the set name. 
Like or the brand or whatever, the the squad or whatever. They would call it Sand People Women and Children. <laughs> <laughs> Sand Not people just the village men, raid? but the women. <laughs> Sand people uh, village I'm attack. I'm trying to get the picture, and I don't know what was wrong with so many that OBS doesn't want to eat them. <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat them either. But that's just come on, me. what's a gas giant? You tell me. But but think about it this way: this would be a perfect set to get Shmi Skywalker in. <laughs> oh yeah, we've never gotten a Shmi Skywalker. Wait, no, yeah, we haven't. Highly detailed blood printing Shmi. across her forehead. Wait, that gives oh, me another idea. Jam. That gives me another idea. Anakin, remember? <laughs> oh yes. Why? Wait. What? I don't understand that. Why have we never gotten Anakin's mother then in Lego Star Wars? There's a lot of stuff missing, especially from the prequels. That's what this whole episode's about. <laughs> the prequels, basically. I, I, yes. And yep. the holiday special and Ewok. No. 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 Yeah. No. They're missing sets from all of those. Just say. They're supposed to be missing sets from Yeah, those. I also recommend, like, there's several cool sets you can get from, like, the various scenes in Order 66 that Lego probably wouldn't do. Even though Lego is incredibly like hypocritical on what they will and won't do. <laughs> Got another one for you. The Lars Homestead. Ah, uh, yeah. Aunt Beru. Kind of, haven't we? Aunt Beru. Maybe, you know, no, maybe we haven't. we've only like gotten the 15 sand police minifigures yep. in these sets. It would, like, they'd do it. You know, oh, you gotta have some... You know, protection for the children. Let's let's add you know a couple thousand police minifigures to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we covered police on this. We had the course. I didn't on realize. Police. I thought they had made a Lars Homestead set before, but I guess they haven't. No, which nope, is weird. Just the Sandcrawler. Again, why are they remaking stuff? <laughs> There's so many. Sets. I know, right? Like this would be a great place. <laughs> here's here's another one that I think might be might be good. That one would be oh. hard. The gun- yeah, yeah, that, that would be hard. Yes. Oh, be cool. That would be but awesome. I don't know. Oto Gunga. That, that one would have to be like a uh, a miniature. Yes. I feel like because oh, you get miniature. like you could yeah you could mm-hmm. get like a glass like bulb thing that they you know the I don't know what they are called but you know those bigger kind of a globe. plastic see through yeah globes globe. and and then you could like build you know your small little uh, you know cities inside or something. Yeah, I could see that. Making it could, a full it size be, like a be full really one. hard. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Yeah, that's All a good right. idea. Also, have they remade, like, it, uh, I guess this isn't a new thing, but it'd be cool if they remade, uh, what what are they? The, the big brown ships at the end of the Phantom Menace with all the droids inside. I really like that. Oh, the MTT. Yeah. yeah. Have they yeah, remade that? They yet? remade that recently. Okay. It, it's had right. f- uh, four iterations. The new one, the more recent one's kind of small, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. I 2007 that, I was the like best. Yes. Yes, it was. We should have another episode where we go through the sets that actually do need redesigns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. We've done that once before, haven't I'm we? I'm still laughing at no. that picture, Malsa. No, we've done the game on it, I think. <laughs> also, like, okay, so I have one more set on my list um, The Tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise, a, or ah, the space opera scene more yes, specifically. Yeah, nice. that yes. would be nice. That would be a set they'd they never make, it? though. Let's be honest how here. Could, how... It's simple. You just have a, some chairs. You know so, those planet molds that they used in um, for the... During, oh, yeah. yeah. Like the if they still pieces. have them. Yeah, if they That'd use one cool. of those in the middle and just print it. For and that, you know, and now that I think about it, we do need, like, a casual Senator Palpatine. Yeah. And also, no. we don't have his aides, like the Umbaran aide and the fat blue guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not that... It's What's that? Mas <laughs> Amedo. <laughs> And he has a tongue. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I say? Uh, what? It, someone explain to me what's going on. Uh, I don't know if we can. Uh, uh, continue. Continue. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Continue. <laughs> You know, I've always wondered, it's like, it looks cool, that, that set piece, but it's like, what the heck are they even, like, getting out of this? It's like, how is that entertaining? No, it's, it's like, opera. watch, it, it is no. opera, because people who watch opera don't actually know what's going on. Well, no, it's like, I know it's what's the, going like on. The, the gel gelatinous moving bulbs or whatever, it's like, what, what? It's bubble opera. You're not supposed to understand it. I think there's, like, singing sea creatures or something in them. It's yeah. art. 
I wish they would have. Also, there's like... lots of Vader imagery in that. Just, yep. Nah. Yeah, oh, there so is? that's what. Yeah, it's just foreshadowing, really. Oh. Is it possible to learn like this power? Despite my love for the prequels, I would have liked a lot if they they could have done like more world exploring because it's all very much in like the the peripherals or just you know, strictly speaking like it, like just in the background or visual well, and watch stuff. the clone wars yeah that's why the clone wars is great because they yep. explore worlds way more because it'd be cool if like they took like 30 more seconds during the opera scene to just kind of like show more of it hmm. just like of the opera scene the setting like kind of do a, like a pan through of it i like that yeah or like that someone like, the thing is the george lucas in the prequels sheet. is so focused on the story itself he spends very little time you know, like showing off just things strictly to look cool. Well, I mean, is See, that George a bad Lucas thing? George wasn't trying to show off like everyone said. It's like, come on, mm. give the guy a break. Now, that midi chlorian series, that would have been epic. I don't know about that, especially yes, when you think... Have... Did you hear I'm about his plans that. for the Palpatine prequel series? The what? Palpatine prequel series he was yeah. at one point. Oh, I yes. feel like that would yeah. be really cool, though. It would no, have been like the Joker turn movie. It all, Palpatine's whole thing is that he becomes a Sith Lord because some woman broke his heart. <laughs> I feel like that's like a, a running mantra with. Well, I mean, he studied to study the dark like, side. I feel like that could actually and work. Then, real, like, no, there was I feel a like under George Lucas's like that. hands, though, that could it, because it's 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 so absurd that I I feel like it could work. It's like it feels really kind of so, interesting and cool. Ryan, who would you cast to play young Sheev Palpatine for this who role? Who would I cast? I don't, Ian McDermott, what does young obviously. Ian McDermott look like? like I, I don't, don't know. know. Is there any pictures of he him young? He looks like young? the Senate. Did cameras yeah. exist when Ian McDermott was young? <laughs> <laughs> Ian <laughs> McDermott up, uh, was young? Six before he does some makeup, you know? I know, they, they just... <laughs> They give him the Tarkin facelift. And oh yeah, done. uh Alden Einrich or what? No, you know? so <laughs> no, he'd be a better Sheev, honestly. Then. No, <laughs> so oh he looks like know. a serial killer. If he has enough, Solo actually lessons, wasn't the origin of Han Solo. It was the origin of Palpatine all along. It was the origin of <laughs> Dane. <laughs> Wait, he always looked old. This does like, look this like is... somebody right now. <laughs> he still looks like. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh wait, wait. Is this? Oh no, that's. Yeah. So basically, Where... it's Sheev in the seventies, and he went through his Bee Gees phase. <laughs> Where is young? He's like Cart. To... Greg. He always had that receding hairline. Yeah, <laughs> like some people. I know. I'm tr- Where is young Ian <laughs> I'm trying to find a picture, but he just looks old in all of them. Maybe, well, we're maybe actually that first running one out of time on the episode, so we're going to have to sign out. Hold on, I have one more. Okay, Leo, yeah, no, one literally, more. we're already over time. It's a great scene. No. Perfect. No, we have that set. No, but not just the scene where he jumps down. We just have the bike. <laughs> young Ian Well, I mean, we also have the lizard. The Varactyl. Yeah. Yeah, but not the scene where he jumps down. Leo, uh, you're you're excused. Wait a no. minute, you're not even supposed to be here. You're fired. No. <laughs> we fired you like Wait, last week. Wait, was Leo not supposed to even be on the? Yeah, we fired him. Is... What are you even doing here? Thing is, Wait, no, no ever... we ruined our own joke. No one ever knows Leo was fired. Is the thing? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wait, still... hang on. Let me. Okay, I'm going to Ian. Be... Do you Victor feel loved, IMDb. Leo? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why has no one brought that up, like, right now on the Discord server? So, You're apparently, doing... he didn't start acting until, like, the beginning of the 80s. And one of his first roles was in The Empire Strikes Back. Yep. No, that can't have been his first role. Wait. No, one of. One of. It was his seventh role. Then who was he in The Empire Strikes Back? Because they the retroactively... Emperor. No, they retroactively did that. They yeah, Clive, they um... replaced it. Oh, wait, duh. Okay, it says... Okay, 2004 DVD version. Never mind. Yep. Never mind. Nice. All right, we um, gotta get going. Yeah, it's... I've, we are way over time. I'm sure of Ian McDermott. Come on. All right, so that's gonna do it for us today. Today's BCC podcast has been brought to you by the patrons who are and up there. And Squarespace. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if we could get a Squarespace sponsorship. We could. Well, the thing is, I... 
I just used that other one. Darn it. What? Oh, yeah, Wix. So Squarespace probably isn't going to want to do that. <laughs> well, maybe you can get Wix to sponsor us then. Maybe. So, yeah, um, we just sent out some rewards to our $5 and up-tiered patrons. Well, hopefully we sent them out. You said by Sunday. Right, Mel? Are they what? going to get sent out? You said you're going to send out the rewards by Sunday, remember? I said I could, yeah. Well, do it. But would you? <laughs> sure, oh, well, why not? <laughs> will you? I don't know if I get knocked do out it. with a... I must I, be frank, LQ. Um, <laughs> It might not get done, but... So yeah, you're going to get your reward injuries. soon. <laughs> I should have had you send me one as well. Well, you can take one of those when I see you in May. It might be harder to take the mug. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to my mug. I have to bring a lot of mugs up there, apparently. So. <laughs> I can't find a picture of him, but in this movie in 1981 called Dragon Slayer, he plays a person called Brother Jackopus. Ja- Jackopus. <laughs> Do you have a picture? Jacopus? Anyway. No, I don't have a picture of him. <laughs> if there's any sets that we did not cover in this episode that you would like to see made into Lego former more so scenes and sets yeah, sets in the movie but still if there's anything in Lego in Star Wars that you'd like to see in Lego <laughs> I mean there are some things in Lego that haven't been in Star Wars but it, <laughs> post it in the comments below and as always remember to like and subscribe to the channel I know none of you are going to do that because no one's listening. But And the people who are already <laughs> subscribed. <laughs> well, or liking the video and sharing it and commenting. Yeah, share it. That should be share our, it. I think that should be our priority because like, we get more subs by the sharing. Yes, unless or, they don't yeah. like us. Well, no, actually, I'm afraid that people won't. People probably don't share this because if they do, they'll lose friends. And then... <laughs> It's a, it's hear a what social you have to poison, say. the BCC podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, for Ford, Leo, Malaris, Ryan, and myself, LQ, we thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode. May the Force be with you. Bye. May the Fourth be with you. Revenge of the Fifth. <laughs> <laughs>